Hi everyone. If you haven't heard already, MuseScore 4.1 has been released to the public with some excellent new features, bug fixes, and improvements, most of which the MuseScore team have covered in their introduction and tutorial videos. I'll leave a link to Bradley Kunda and Martin Keery's videos in the description. But we may still dive deeper into how we can make full use of some of those new features. For now, what I'm most excited about is the performance improvements of using Muse sounds, largely due to the separation of the reverb from every instance of Muse sounds, though I think there may have been other performance tweaks as well. This is huge for me as a teacher, because I can more confidently recommend my students to use MuseScore 4 on any computer they have at home, as well as having better performance on whatever computer the school can afford. It also means that big scores won't have as big an impact on my computer performance as they did, which is great for writing big orchestral epics, and, once Muse Sounds gets around to making the appropriate sound libraries, concert band arrangements. Today I want to compare the performance of a score that I've previously used for testing on MuseScore 4 and MuseScore 4.1. I'll leave the specs of the PC in the description if anyone is interested in the nitty gritty, but it's not the newest machine by any means. We're mostly looking at CPU, although RAM usage is also important. This is the video I captured of MuseScore 4, unfortunately without sound, and you can see the big spike in CPU when I click on a note, and the playback engine quickly has to process that. Once the playback is going, it mostly sits around 50% for this score of 5 instruments, with occasional spikes when changing articulation and so on. My RAM is sitting at about 28% usage, and the GPU is perfectly happy, going at around 30%. Now let's see MuseScore 4.1. We know it's MuseScore 4.1, because in the mixer we now have control over the amount of reverb, and we'll explore that properly in another video. We can see the CPU spike as it loads the score, but it's not up to 100%, so that's already an improvement. Selecting a note or time signature gives a very small spike in CPU, and then the playback seems to settle around 25-30%. to RAM is similar at 25%. It's not a big enough change to say that they've improved that, it might have been something different on my system that day. The GPU has these interesting regular fluctuations between about 40% and 20%, I have no idea what that's about. This big lump of CPU power here is so interesting for me and shows the power of this playback system, that it can look ahead, by about two bars it seems, and load the new sounds that are coming up, so that the playback is smooth. In this case it's loading the harmonics and the double basses. VST can't do that as far as I know. I'm pretty sure VST just has all the sounds you may need permanently loaded up. So the biggest change was the CPU usage down from 50% to below 30%. That's a nice big change for such a small score. Let's try a large score. For this I'm using the Muse Orchestra demo that I've previously used to test the performance characteristics of MuseScore 4. And you can watch that collaboration with Mr. Long up at the top. It takes a bit longer to load the instruments, but that makes sense, and it uses more CPU to do it as well. CPU playback is only sitting at about 50% when not changing articulation and adding new instruments. And RAM is still only about 33%, that's pretty great. Hang on, there's a spike to load the brass, just over 82%. And then a decrease as instruments die away to the end of the piece. It seems like stopping playback in the middle gives the greatest CPU load, I wonder what that's from. Unfortunately I don't have a comparison of this score on the same PC with Musical 4, but when I was testing it with Mr. Long on a newer computer, I was starting out at 90% CPU usage and quickly ramped up to 100%. For completeness in 4.1, I also tried inputting notes, and unfortunately that still results in large CPU spikes, which makes note input a bit slower. 
This is also the case with smaller scores, so hopefully that will get fixed in future updates. In conclusion, I'm very happy with the performance improvements, which should make things easier for everyone to run new score for. I'm not quite sure what the team meant by up to 60% improvement. Does that mean you'll use 60% of the CPU you used to, or will you use 60% less? But anyway, it's still a significant and fantastic improvement. Look out for more videos about MuseScore 4.1 coming over the next few weeks. Bye!